You must have heard of Ethereum 2.2. But now its layer to Polygon is also coming up with the Polygon 2.2. Basically, Polygon 2.0 is a culmination of over a year of collaboration between the Polygon Labs, developers, researchers, application nodes, operators, validators, and the broader Polygon and the Ethereum communities. Hello and welcome to 3.0 TV. I am Manoj Dara. The core team at Polygon has unveiled its plan for building Polygon 2.0 envisioned as a network of zero-knowledge powered layer 2 blockchains. Zero-knowledge rollups, which is ZK rollups, are the layer 2 scaling solutions that increase throughput on the Ethereum mainnet by moving computation and state storage off-chain. ZK rollups can process thousands of transactions in a batch and then only post some minimal summary data to the mainnet. Polygon operates a proof-of-stake sidechain network called the Polygon POS, which runs parallel to the Ethereum and hosts notable crypto apps such as Uniswap and Aave. It also manages a layer 2 network based on the ZK rollups named Polygon ZK EVM, complementing its existing proof of stake chain. However, the team is preparing to create additional layer 2s that leverage ZK rollups, one of the two most adapted solutions designed to scale Ethereum with off-chain computations. Such individual layer 2s could interact with each other securely. The team explained that the architect of the Polygon 2.0 is being designed to facilitate an instantaneously and secure cross-chain interactions with the layer 2 chains without additional trust assumptions. The team stated that this initiative aims to establish the value layer of the internet. Just like the internet allows anyone to create and exchange information, the value layer is the fundamental protocol that allows anyone to create, exchange and program value. Individual blockchains aren't infinitely scalable. They have strict throughput limits, the team noted. We can add capacity by creating new chains, but not without fragmenting liquidity and reducing security and capital efficiency. Now let's hear from our esteemed guest, Mr. Devi Prasad Chaudhary, Finance Controller at Keralon Global Solutions and Blockchain Futurist. Mr. Chaudhary, welcome on 3.0TV. Thank you for having me here. Sir, our viewers want to understand what is Polygon 2.0 and how it is going to impact the Ethereum Layer 2 scenario. If you can just please explain that, sir. Um, I'd like to just uh, bring you one insight about blockchain is that it has a trilemma issue, okay? Any blockchain protocol comes with one trade-off among three, that is security, decentralization, and scalability. Now, Ethereum, let's start with Ethereum. It has been very busy network because of the number of dApps being built on top of it. The usage has increased significantly and the kind of business the network has seen, uh, there has been tremendous surge in the transaction fee. Now to counter this, we need a solution for the ecosystem where developers, users, users can come and experience, uh, you know, uh, great latency and uh, quick settlement of the or the finality of the transactions. And developer community should also be able to, you know, uh, build uh, products or dApps, which is scalable. Now, Polygon comes here, um, takes the architecture of Plasma, which was written by Vitalik Buterin, you know, way back, three, four years back. And um, they connected to, you know, Ethereum main chain, created side chain with the pl Plasma architecture and enabled Matic network, right? And since then, there has been great leverage for the whole blockchain ecosystem in building dApps, okay? And we have seen a great number of uh, dApps being built on Matic itself. Why? Because of the scalability solution, what they brought in. They just simplified the one issue, which is number of transactions happened per second, right? And for that, uh, by doing so, they are just doing that batch of transactions they validate and then post it to the layer one, which is Ethereum. Ultimately, the transaction goes to Ethereum, but instead of one transaction, they create a batch of transaction and post it. Now, however, there comes your optimism, rollups, all this stuff, you know, down the line, latest updates happen to the ecosystem. And those, you know, new protocols being created. But then Polygon definitely thought about it. And then they, uh, it's a strategy call for them to uh, embrace those changes or improvements 
to their network or to their protocol and uh, hence what they did is they also kind of embedded with rollups and optimism uh, instead of side chain it's a completely you know uh, simultaneously talking to layer one system which is much more efficient on top of it they have also uh, you know uh, brought in the zk sync um, enablement wherein you can ensure faster settlement with privacy in it if at all anything has to be masked as per requirement that also they have solved so with that if you see again going back to the trilemma of the blockchain scalability decentralization and uh, uh, security they have definitely leveraged decentralization and security in the name of scalability but current scenario definitely we need scalable solution which can do more number of transaction per second because we have been compared to you know visas of the world mastercards of the world and uh, we cannot uh, you know upis of the world in the settlement uh, uh, per se and that is where you know by bringing in all of these improvements into their existing um uh, network they become you know going to be the most powerful you know scalable solution i would say uh, after layer one polygon and that's polygon 2.0 for you. thank you so much sir, for sharing your view on greenado tv stay tuned get familiar with the polygon 2.0 in its entirety and join the conversation only the polygon community who controls the polygon protocol has the right to accept and implement polygon 2.0 Well that's all there is in this today's special segment we will meet again till then keep watching 3.0 tv for more such interesting analysis thank you